Money FM 89.3, best of weekends. Let's talk about a brand new HBO original romantic comedy called Adventure of the Ring, uh, premiering two episodes on Sunday, the 13th of December, exclusively on HBO Go. Uh, we've got Janet She is with us. Uh, hi, Janet. How are you today? Good. Hi. How are you? Great to have you with us. Uh, Janice joining us from Taiwan and her actor husband, George Young, joining us from Culver City in Los Angeles. Hi, George. Oh, hello. <laughs> I had to join things, Janet, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so just, just to stress for the benefit of our listeners' viewers, they are husband and wife, but George is also in a number of <laughs> HBO productions, which we will get to. But at the moment, George, I've got to be honest, your wife is much more important. She's She's trending. <laughs> <laughs> Trending harder. <laughs> because you, Janet, are in HBO Asia's first, very first, I believe, original romantic comedy adventure of The Ring. Tell us about it and how you got involved. Yeah, so it's actually kind of funny that George and I are on the phone together because usually when we're on a long-distance call, we're talking about, like, okay, who's going to feed Egan? What is he going to eat now? <laughs> usually we're super distracted as well. <laughs> Now I'm assuming um, Egan yeah, is so... Egan is one of your children. It's not like a you know a monkey or something you keep in a cage, right? It's a child. Well, they're the same. We don't <laughs> keep the monkey in the cage. Oh, glad you guys said it, not us. <laughs> <laughs> now tell us about um, Adventure okay, of the Ring. So, yeah. yeah, so Adventure of the Ring. It is HBO Asia's uh, first romantic comedy, and and uh, I love the story because it's basically about what happens when a an engagement ring gets lost, and follow the ring through a series of different relationships and stories. So every person that touches the ring, uh, you start following their story, and the, the stories are very, uh, they're very wide-ranged uh, between, you know, a father-son relationship, a young couple, a, a woman who's trying to understand herself, um, and an older couple who, who falls in love again after, you know, after 50 years, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, it's a very funny uh, it's a very funny comedy, but at the same time, it, it will it is a tearjerker at the same time. Those are the best, right? <laughs> and tell us about your role in it. So I play a radio DJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give us your best DJ voice. <laughs> oh, oh, so I had I had so much fun playing with this because I asked the director. I was like, so do you want sexy voice? <laughs> Which... Like late night. We're now listening to Mariah Carey. Yeah. Or, or kind of like, you know, a hyper, happy, happy, you know, daytime type voice. Um, we, we ended up going with, because I play a love expert, so we played a little bit um, somewhere in between. So I do I do try to pull on, put on a little bit more of the, the softer touch. Um, mm. And I give a lot of, yeah, I give a lot of love advice. So throughout the show, you'll hear me basically talking to all the different characters uh, throughout the series, um, I give them advice, and I'm also kind of their voice. So I'm kind of like the voice in their head, uh, thinking out loud. And I, then at the very end, so you have to watch to the end, <laughs> because at yeah. the very end, um, you really see me, and that's kind of where the surprise of my character and my husband comes out. Sorry, it's not you, George. And Janet, uh, just, <laughs> for, uh, and, uh, just tell us, where is it actually set, uh, Adventure of the Ring? So it's set in Taipei, and then the ring gets lost in the, the MRT, the subway station here. Yeah. And so it's, it's a Mandarin uh, production, I believe? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's Mandarin. There's bits and pieces of English in there, um, but it's mostly Mandarin, yeah. Fantastic stuff. And, I mean, why is it, I just wanted to ask you, it's the first romantic comedy for HBO. They're bringing it out at the right, right time of the year. Maybe this is a question for both of you. We have to bring George in at some point. We'll get him in here. And, uh, me, and, and <laughs> I prefer her harder touch. Uh, she was talking about softer touches. Oh, sorry. Carry on. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> yes, that's between you. <laughs> but no, what is it? everyone live listening. Live and everyone listening. Live on video. Absolutely. <laughs> what is it about... About this time of the year that attracts us to romantic comedies like this one janet first uh it, you know it's christmas it's the holidays it's the new year that I, I think this is when everybody's together and you also have a lot more time to to get into the mood you know it's cold outside usually um, you want to cuddle up and and yeah, I don't know. There's something about it. And I obviously, uh, you know, for us anyways, I, I grew up watching these, things, these type of movies at Christmas. They're always family-oriented. They're always, you know, a little romantic touch. And it's just, 
it's just perfect. You, you want to get a nice hot cut cocoa and, and just cuddle up and, and just watch with somebody that you love. Oh, and George, what, what do you sweet. think? Nice. <laughs> uh, Janet, are you talking about your cuddling up with your fake husband or the real husband? <laughs> <laughs> You'll just have to um, watch this. <laughs> I will have to watch and find out. But um, no, for me, I, I like, um, you know, Christmas was kind of, first thing I think about is Die Hard. Thank you. It's thank you. Oh, thank movies. you. Thank you. Yeah, I've been saying I mean, this, George, all morning. It's the greatest Christmas movie good. ever. <laughs> it is. It is a proper Christmas movie. But, uh, I mean, there's that. But like Janet was saying also, yeah, it's that. It's the season. It's the, well, not in Singapore. I was going to say the weather. It, it, it's kind of inducive to that, the colder weather. You get that in Taiwan. You get that in L.A. You get, certainly get that in England, as you know. But, but in Singapore, it's, you know, it's. You cr- everyone creates. Uh, I've spent many Christmases in Singapore, and mm. everyone creates that festive season. It's more. It's n- it's not to do with the weather. It's to do with the the general mindset, and everyone just gets into that season, which takes a lot more imagination, I think, to get into that traditional quote unquote festive season. But it mm. is cuddling up and um, and watching those sort of. Uh, cozy movies like Die Hard, like Die Hard, and, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah, a real, it's a and, real feel no, but good. Also, as, well, as, well, <laughs> as well as Die Hard, there's also you know there's there's movies like uh, When Harry Met Sally. I don't even know that's, Thank a, you very that's much. a romantic comedy. No. Nothing. Oh, did you mention that? No, as well? mine. We mentioned. He did. Yep, he yep. did. Yep. He did. Thank you very much. I don't know. Uh, they, they celebrate New Year at the end, really, don't they? It's not, I don't know if it's, I don't know if they did a Christmas there. I can't remember anymore. But was, when the, Valley the, the part where they were in the uh, department store the, with, the, uh, with the big oh, piano. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, that yeah, was big. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got oh, that's the wrong big. That was big. big. Oh, oh, that's, another, yeah, but, that's another one, Tom Hanks. Anyway, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Big, <laughs> big's very good, yeah. We, Janet and I watched that together last Christmas, I think. There you go. Yeah. Recently, yeah. 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 Our previous yeah. guest just said that Tom Hanks is essentially Christmas for many people. Those rom-coms. He <laughs> might be, yeah, the Father Christmas. He is his modern-day Father Christmas. He, he's played that as well, hasn't he, in Polar Express? He was. Think, wasn't he, or not? Or he was in Polar Christmas Express he... anyway, yeah. Now, George, I've got to ask <laughs> yeah. you, you're, you're very well known in Singapore. You mm. perform many roles here on stage and screen. The last time I saw you... You were holding a gun to Adrian Pung's head <laughs> while he was yeah. tied to a chair on the stage <laughs> in Swimming with himself. Sharks. And now the next time I speak to you, you're conquering Hollywood, which is wonderful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so what's your story? What have you been up to? What are you doing? Yeah, I mean, it's been a while since I've been back in Singapore, but yeah, just been... Since Singapore, I did this TV series about an, a virus outbreak, which is just so out of the, uh, so, uh, you know, it, it, that would never, never happen. happen. It never happened. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> that was so funny when we did it. When we did it, they were talking about how, you know, it was all this science fiction and now it's reality. It's, it's just crazy. Mm. But, um, and then since then, it's, well, the latest thing we're doing is, um, is, is this new movie with James Wan, who um, wow. he, d- he did Saw, Conjuring, uh, Fast and Furious, Aquaman. Uh, so he's got this original horror thriller called Malignant, and that's just been announced to be coming out next year. Oh, so. Congratulations. And following up on that, just briefly, Thanks. you're also in HBO Asia's uh, Grace, which can yes. currently be seen on HBO Go in Singapore. What is it with you two? Are you just both trying to conquer HBO? What's the story here? <laughs> Do you have stock? That is the plan. Stock in the and company? Was... We've achieved that plan. <laughs> so now it's the next channel. So just briefly for the benefit, because HBO Go will be streaming over the festive season, is available. Just tell us a bit about Grace and your role in that. I play one of the family members. I mean, hell, wow, it's been a while since we filmed it, but I look exactly the same, so that's good. <laughs> I play one of the family members, that's the important thing, uh, in this, in this tight knit family that starts to come apart with, starts to unravel with the arrival of, of certain elements, certain people who come into the, who enter the sort of family and things go from there it's a mini series so it's a very easy one especially on hbo go you can Mm. you can consume it up you know through this christmas season uh if you fancy getting if you fancy hugging someone a bit tighter this is a good excuse so you can stick on grace and um and yeah that's that's the essential i don't want to give too much away uh, with horror yeah george tends to 
to do a lot of things that have to that 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 scare people. They're HBO yeah, for grade. some reason, yeah, <laughs> for some reason, I'm doing scary it. stuff. But I I get scared about any everything, so I don't know he why does. they put me yeah. in the scare. I guess yeah. Well, maybe I we'll guess just they like, like my reaction. I when I'm reaction. Neil and I are going to go get a cup <laughs> of coffee. We'll just let you two talk for a while and work it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, well, that's your fault for putting us both on at the same time. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> We're talking with uh, George Young and Janet Che. Uh, Janet, of course, is starring in the new uh, HBO original romantic comedy, Adventure of the Ring. And I, I found it was interesting. First of all, you two are born in the same year. I won't say that what the year is unless you guys want to talk about that. But you were born... 1999. <laughs> 1999, exactly. <laughs> um, but you were born like literally half a world apart. You know, Janet in Houston and George, you in London. Uh, how, how did your relationship come together? And what has the, the, the cultural mix been like since you got married in 2015? Since we were born, right, Janet? <laughs> well, it, it's been... An arranged it's marriage. Been, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, it it's been out. like all of George's dramas. It's been a horror movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I think it was just Janet's dream since she was a teenager. Just had a poster of me right. up there. Oh, uh, okay, okay, fair uh-huh. enough. Uh-huh. No, I, I just always find uh-huh. it's interesting to have these, you know, kind of cross-cultural relationships. You're in the same industry, obviously. You, but you, you bring different a- things to the bring different things to that kind of uh, to your careers, right? In terms of your your upbringing and yeah, and- I do the. I do the English language stuff, and Janet's doing the Mandarin stuff on HBO, so you can just switch between us. So you've got all those bases covered. <laughs> well, you didn't you meet I, on a you met on a Taiwanese show, if I if I'm not wrong, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, we on met, Taiwan. We met oh, we didn't meet we there, but we okay. Yeah, you worked together on it. But yeah. Janet was. But if you watch the Fun Taiwan, it's Fun Taiwan Miao Li. I think mm. you might be able to see it online or somewhere. If you if you get to see it, you'll see how much Janet flirted with me so much oh. it was so obvious we weren't we weren't dating back then but wow it was obvious George. i'm so glad i'm actually here witnessing and listening to this live. Yeah. <laughs> someone may die hard in their relationship well, i think I, I was just gonna say it might be, i feel this christmas is getting colder and colder it does at it's least getting... for one of the members of our uh, of our studio audience today. it's getting cold outside but i like the humor no seriously yeah. you know we're talking about romantic comedies i mean your relationship more romance more comedy what would you say janet first <laughs> <laughs> How's oh. that for a great question? Oh, that's a great question. All way. Comedy all way. That, uh, okay, so you're, you know, to be to be completely serious, uh, what? Because George and I are very, very different. I do love adventure. I love challenges. I love throwing myself into all these, you know, crazy situations. He does not. He he wants to watch, you know, nature shows on VR. You know, he, he doesn't want to do any of these things. Um, so we're very, very different. But that's what, what I say. What I'm watching on VR. <laughs> Mm. Right. Well, well, that's a conversation we need to have later. <laughs> no, have it here. Have it here. Yeah. <laughs> we need to bump our ratings. Come on, do it now. <laughs> yeah. So, Janet says you're very um, different. George, what about you? On uh, to speaking of Janet. Yeah, I, I I agree. We are very different. I mean, you would think Janet being so the, the, known for the travel show and traveling, the, you know, traveling the world and fearless Janet, basically. You would think she should be paired up with someone just as fearless. It didn't happen. She ended up with me, and I am truly scared of most things. And I worry about everything. I I question everything. I'm super anxious all the time. So that... So maybe opposites do attract, like any romantic... any good romantic comedy. So Mm. we are kind of a romantic comedy. Wonderful stuff. So both, the answer is. Wonderful stuff for the festive season. Now, I have a surprise for you here, George. I have a celebrity question Uh of sorts uh, from a a mutual friend of ours. The acting legend of Adrian Pung has actually submitted a question to ask you live on air. And here is the question, George. Oh, no. Here is the question. Can you say to George that Adrian Pung bets him $1,000 that he cannot recite from memory the entire list of Oscar-winning movies that he said when he acted in Pangdemonium Swimming with Sharks in 2012? He will pay you $1,000 if you can recite (laughs) the Oscar-winning movies in your speech. The f- oh. The floor. oh my goodness! The floor so do I have to have it? Does it have to be updated? No, you can just it have do to be, it um... as it was on stage. 
I'm, uh, let's start, you, uh, got, uh, you, got, you know got, what? You got that 30 took seconds. so long. Neil, Neil, you watched it, right? I've got 30 seconds. Yes. I have no idea. I'm frantically Googling. I'm frantically <laughs> Googling the best pictures right now. And I can't find the 1980s. I can't find the original one, so I'm panicking. So, no, I... Adrian, I owe you a thousand dollars. Apparently, great. Oh, right here on, on Money <laughs> FM. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant I, stuff. <laughs> I, it, I, that took so long to memorize, and Adrian was laughing at me, and Tracy Pang as well is directing it. They just said, "Oh, poor you! I don't know what you're going to do." I had to recite every best picture backwards <laughs> wow. from the original, and I had to do that every night. So I, I think, yeah. So Neil, you did watch it, right? I did. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it was did really some, good. Yeah, and do you remember that? You, did I mess it up that night or not? Because there was one night I did. So <laughs> several times, it was laughable. No, you did yeah, not. Okay, once, it was not laughable. Once, yeah, that's, not once, yeah. Thank not you. Once. Thank you. No, uh, not once. It was. A, it was a, I enjoyed that produc- production a lot. Actually, it was good fun. Hey uh, guys, we got to leave it there for now. But. Uh, George, remind us again when we might uh, see your next uh, work coming out of Hollywood. Um, Malignant, it's a feature film. It'll be coming out in theatres in Singapore and worldwide 2021. Awesome. And Janet Shea, uh, current work is Adventure of the Ring, an HBO original romantic comedy. That's going to drop on Sunday, the 13th of December. Thanks to both of you for being with us today from uh, Taipei and from Los Angeles. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. It's been fun. Happy more, birthday. Thank you. And more importantly, George, yeah, thanks for clarifying yeah. to the world that Die Hard is the definitive <laughs> Christmas movie. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. You've I'm just, glad I could you've help. You've just earned a return call onto the show. Believe me, he, he is so happy about that. Anyway, have, have a great holiday season to you both, and we look forward to having you on the show again in the future. Happy holidays. Thank you very much.